Hello, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing Hardball. Wilbert has an easy job today. Well, and actually, usually I would auto resolve this one. However, the Cylon fleet size is different. Oh, well, you know, I think it's just a Talon. I think they, I guess they have three Nemesire and a Talon. I really don't think we win anything here, so let's auto resolve that. Battlestar group is engaging hostiles. And then it's Raphael at Tauron. Let's proceed. That will be more exciting. Our battle computers even think that there's a 5% chance that we will lose this. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, let's be careful there, right? Shall we? Well, it is certainly a big fleet there, so let's... be opposite of them. And then... our quad... sandwich, or rather it's a quad burger. There you go. Okay, well, it's not totally nicely aligned. More like this. And then our Eurybia has a very dangerous job again, and there's again the satellite there, so... Going in. And then we'll see, so... Boosting. Let's yes, get some distance between them and us. You guys fly like so. What kind of asteroid is this? Oh yeah, well, navigation. What we really want is... Uh, the fire control. Tech player, that's all not really interesting. There, there, back there is fire control. Will that will take a while, it's not worth our time. So, you guys, Eurybia, fly like there, hard left, launching, launching alert vipers, Astana launching squadrons, launching alert vipers. There we go, and ending the turn. We ident identify someone. We are fighting on the night side of the planet, so there is one Arachne, one Revenant. Oh, and we identified three Arachnes, okay. All of them, or none of them, elite, which is good news. We are flying around. And then our ships immediately target the first Arachne. Flying like so. Yes, Commander. Yeah, let's fire the, at the forward one. All missiles go, go, go. Energy to weapon systems. Understood. Flying like so. And also all missiles in the sky that we can afford. Oh well. And I forgot to put armor piercers in, but well. This way it's a cheap mission then. Yeah. At least we have uh, six Viper squadrons. So you guys move out just in case they identify us. So you can catch some missiles ending the turn. IFF confirms unit Are is hostile. Well, there is a chance that they already identified us, but on the other hand, we were actually rather far away. And these guys are not elite, so could be okay. So let's go full offensive stance. Or should we actually... Now let's actually boost away. Let's boost away. Yes, sir. Moving here with the Vipers. 
And then you guys establish a super sandwich formation. Like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the next turn we can go into the offensive stance. Ending the turn. Very good. No Cylon missiles in the sky. That is a good thing. So let's see. And you are radar regular prototypes. Prototype, prototype. Okay, and we have one unidentified squadron. Oh yeah, and here's another one. So five prototypes, okay. Well, that's fine with us. Full attack. We are firing at this guy here as well. Flying like so, and well, they will probably come closer. So, starting to snipe, ready the guns. Vipers, prepare. Moving, but let's not fly through all of this asteroid stuff there. So, let's stay back a bit. Yeah, very good. Okay, so now we are in a nice sandwich formation here. No. And let's fly as far away as we can. Because this will be a nasty battle otherwise. The adamants. Turn hard left, so let's watch these missiles. Get out of there. You guys have your orders, ending the turn. Good, one, two, three, four, and five. Very nice, and we are actually hitting them all. We are nice, all in the left side. That looks actually pretty good. Do we have a chance? One, two, three, four, five. So it could, it should amount to 30 damage if we hit them. We could explode the first Arachne then already. That that would be rather beautiful. You guys, so say we all away. Or the Vipers. Are just um, greeting with their wings. And now, well, we need one more turn here, right? Yeah. And then we just fly forward while our frigates stabilize. On it, Commander. Like that. Yeah, well, we've got a slight drift to the left. So let's fly like this. As yes, well. Commander. So like so. Well, by the way, the, the Astana can fly a little bit higher like this. Like so. Good. Come on, let's see the first exploding Arachne. There. Looks pretty good. Yeah, very good. No! No! Come on! Unbelievable. Well, this is how the Cylons mock us. Well, that's how they do it. But at least this thing is totally on fire now. Well. Then, here we go, all in. Flying like so. Firing all missiles. At that Arachne, because that one is closer to the asteroids over there. And by the way, the Astana fires missiles at this Arachne there. And then the Eurybia seems to be the, the focus of interest. What's this, Tech Bay? Oh yeah, well, then we are actually taking the, the Tech Bay. You guys fly like so, move. 
there. And then I guess they will just follow up. So we can actually shoot them into the side. All right. Eurybia needs two more turns, yeah. Well then, ending the turn. Let's watch here. Very nice indeed. Now missiles away. Very good. Okay, we are securing this one. Let's stay here. A little longer. And remain long enough at this one. So we are actually getting it. Although it really doesn't matter at all. But just to anger the Cylons a little bit. Ending the turn. Yeah, very good. Our sniping starts. Did we hit someone? Yes. We blew five raiders out of the sky. Very good. Well, let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Vipers. Move here. Because I want to mock them and you guys. Uh, what happened now? Oh goodness. Well. Uh, well, where is there? Where was there this drift? I wonder. How did that happen? Hmm. Understood. So I like this. And then we are actually in a nice flanking position while well, they are actually flying forward and they seem to follow the Eurybia. Ending the turn. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, looks pretty good. Yes, excellent. Very nice, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So. 34, Raiders down at 34, however, now we're boosting even some more. Understood. Let's do that. Vipers fly there. And actually the Eurybia flies a little bit higher. And then we are boosting all around here. While you guys boost there and the Uluguru and theoretically the Artemis yeah let's actually stay here on the attack stands so like that and actually let's follow up with some more missiles here on that Arachne fire and Uluguru Fire as well. Ending the turn. Beautiful as always. And then we should actually, let's use the opportunity to explode this guy there. Well, all the raiders seem to be to seem to be having a stupid day, but that's fine with us. So let's actually uh, let's go on the offensive, sniping at them, and then we're firing missiles at this guy. Well, the vipers. move here and I think they should end up somewhere like here but not identify us it is sort of a gamble but well no risk no fun right so and then we are here understood let's 
frigates align a bit better please like so and then we're going to completely flank them ending the turn you guys are sniping Getting the missiles that's good oh now they are actually maneuvering okay well I wonder why. Well then, now we have these guys. All in our two weapon systems again. And then we fly around like so. And we're hitting this guy. Yep, very good. They are down to 24. Now we are boosting away again. Fly like this. Yeah, maybe they noticed that the that is not working out for them. Vipers move here. We're just drawing them all away, and then we are drawing them in a wide circle around into our fire, into the range of our guns, and by then we should actually have decimated the Arachni some more. Good. Ending the turn. But they are coming about again, yeah. Oh yeah, very good. Yeah, nice. Very nice indeed. Very nice. The next kill, excellent. Excellent. However, the Revenant seems to come for our ships now. But that's fine. So we are totally denying them their missiles. That's how I like it. That makes me happy. That's how I like it. You guys move out here. All missiles are away. Well, most of them at least. Now let's boost. We need to get over here to help with all those raiders. But the Artemis can actually... Uh, it takes a while anyway, so let's follow up with some more missiles. Let's fire here at the Arachne. Like that. Ending the turn. That's only two missiles, yeah. We are boosting. But it's fine. So now they are catching the, the, those missiles from there. Most others. Should land in their left side. So you guys are flying like this. Vipers move out like so. So we've got long distance maneuvering here. But it's fine. So there. Let's see how that goes with the missiles ending the turn. Yeah. They are coming in, okay, but yeah, I think most of them are actually, well, this here hits the front, okay, well, but it's fine, they are already on fire, which is also hampering their performance a bit, very good, what happened here again, like, I would, I could swear that they were aligned, but well, understood, Who's forward, frigates, Like that. Yeah, well, and you guys. Yes, Commander. Fly like this. The Astana seems to be seems to be a little bit too motivated today. Like this. So now we need to maintain some missile fire discipline here. Well, and now we are far enough away again. They will be somewhere here. So let's fly around like so. We're really toying with them now, focusing fire. Vipers continue there. And they are about to come over, that's good. Ending the turn. Sniping. Ending 
And we are hitting some of them. Beautiful, they're down to 50 now. And, well, I think we can actually do another turn and that way we can also fire some missiles here at this guy. There. Well, our friends over here are ready for the next complete fleet salvo. Understood. Let's target that one, although they won't be in range. And well, I mean, they've been maneuvering. So let's fire everything at this one. Sort of a waste, but uh, they seem to target the, f the the capital ships now and not the Eurybia, so it should be... But that should finish it off, so... Ending the turn, you guys. Now you can actually... A little bit more like there. Ending the turn. It's still sniping nicely. They're down to eight, okay, yeah. So we're shooting some, something around eight, uh, eight, boosting around like this, you guys. Move back like there. And you come around like so. Still firing. That should leave them somewhere here, I guess. So actually, let's fly like this. Vipers, yeah, are in a good position there, I guess. Now you could actually go a little bit further. Move here. So, like that. Denying them all offensive capabilities. They are very good, we are shooting. A nice, very, very nice flank attack. Beautiful. Well, let's actually shoot the third one. And you guys change to offensive stance again. Hit that one. We have one Viper Squadron that attacks this yes, here. Sir. Two, go for the second one. They are only at 29. Well, let's take the third one as well, like there. And you two guys, go for this third. And then I guess we should actually have wiped out the first three squadrons there. Two more turns until the Missile sits and this should actually explode the Arachne as well. So let's watch this one here, ending the turn. Very good. Very good. That should be a nice surprise. Very good. Wipe, wipe them out, guys. Yes, very good. We've destroyed three squadrons. Excellent. We don't have any casualties yet. The Arachne has been destroyed in the distance. You guys fly further On it, Commander. around. Shoot those guys. Bleed. Messes up this rear squadron. And then we've got two Vipers. Two Viper squadron per radar squadron. That gives us a very nice squadron advantage Squadron target there. is confirmed. You guys go for that one. Understood. Very nice indeed. I'm happy about this. Very nice indeed. No, yes, Commander. No casualties so far. Well, let's actually let's have two frigates. Shoot those guys. So we've got some support on all of them. Good. Very nice indeed. And the Revenant is so far away that it doesn't do anything. At least this turn, possibly the next one as well. Ending the turn there. 
good beautiful and they are trying to come for us very good they are still trying to come for the Rivia. excellent i think they have not identified anything or anybody very nice indeed very nice indeed you guys fly around like so oh actually you stay here like so and then we are firing at the revenant so we have some more time you guys fly around like this and our missiles are ready don't have too many missile strikes though but let's fire this revenant so we remain undetected for a while all of you guys go for the revenant as well frontal assault ending the turn there fighter squadron is taking fire yeah no worries we can dodge that very good and now the ships boost ahead understood beautiful and we are out of the danger zone you guys fly like that and that should actually nicely explode the revenues are they, oh, the other actually shooting at us um guys why is this one not dead now yes good okay did they actually identify us there's someone shot at us the right side yeah and it looked like they were targeting us but then i think they were only targeting us as blips and not as identified ships so it should be okay boosting away some more manticore can actually join the formation so say we all I like this Revenant is going to toaster hell we have two guys who are going squadron for this target one. is confirmed two guys who go for this one and the other two for that one Ending the turn. Yeah, good. Feels good to have an explosion behind you. Very good. Okay, they are just revenants. Aha! Another Arachne has been identified. Not an elite one though. Good. And then all Vipers go for this last one. Yes, yeah. sir. I would expect that's also a re um, an Arachne. Good. We've not done the, the traditional way for a long while actually the traditional way being very very careful let's just stay like so one more turn and then we are going to fire the next salvo ending the turn vipers ah yeah it's, they have to erupt it's okay right very good. The Vipers will mess up the, this rear Arachne. Very good. Very nice indeed. And now we do have a full strike with the whole fleet. Very good. Everybody transfer energy to missile tubes and targeting systems. Ah, well, the Eurybia can actually here more like aligned with the fleet now, like that. Good. Missiles in this Arachne. Beautiful. And the best thing is it didn't cost us anything for the missiles. Ending the turn. Yeah, looks so good. Yeah. The Eurybia is drifting, but it's fine. So that is the Mega Sandwich. Or rather the Super Burger. Who knows? Military specialists and historians are not entirely yes, Commander. of the same opinion. So here, and then we boost some more again, like so. And I want to see a flawless victory here. Very good. Oh, uh, this one is on fire already. That's good. 
ending the turn. Let's watch our bypass work. Do the good work. Very good. We've got a kill there. Excellent. Well then. I guess. Yeah, I guess we let, just let them fly, huh? Although it's kind of a waste. But the rear is through now. But just in case the, all those missiles are not going through the frontal armor, but they will. But maybe this guy is also maneuvering very heavily now. So now it's time. Yeah, two more turns. Well, we only have 10 more missiles left. The Ranger is done with shooting missiles. Okay. Oh yeah, wow. Well, I think we shot as many missiles as we could. Oh, let's actually, we don't need that. Tech stand. Turning about. Yes, sir. Except the Uribia. Breaking. Let's just fly like this. Because we need to present our front. And then all of you guys target the leading revenant. So, well, it doesn't look like we are going to make a flawless one, but uh, firing our missiles. So here ending the turn. Very good. And it's going up from both sides. Double explosion, very good. All Vipers are in an excellent position here. Flying through the explosion. All Vipers come for this revenant from behind. Everybody has this guy, good. Adamant. Ranger can't. Well, actually, let's fire missiles here in the sky. There. Eurybia needs one more turn. Let's fly hard left. And everybody else just stays put like so. Ending the turn. Now they are boosting forward, of course. Oh yeah, wow, our guys have exploded the Revenant. Uh, unbelievable. Then you guys Understood. go for that one. And now we are ready for the next strike. All missiles go, fire at will. You guys come around. Fire missiles too. I hope we are not firing at our own guys. No, I think it should be fine. Especially if we stay more here. Like that. Ending the turn. Good, first missiles coming our strike. They shoot one. Okay, that's already enough. Okay, good. Yes, good. Well, okay, it's not a flawless one. So, they they scratched us up a bit, but it's fine. So there, and now all Vipers go for the tail end. But it is a good Viper day. A good day for the Viper pilots. You guys come around like yes, so. Yes, Commander. Fire at the tail end there. And you guys there as well. Well, while the Ranger can actually turn in and fire the frontal guns. Yeah. Ending the turn. Good, nice explosion. Beautiful, and... Well, they are under pressure, but they are, of course, heavily armored. They, they are actually, well, they were shooting us up a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah, the Ranger has been shot up a little bit on the left. So say we all. Like that. Well then, at Astana, turn in like so. And then we actually should get a good angle here. 
and you're firing your missiles as well. There you go, well the Manticore just stays like so. Yeah. Everything's fine. And uh, concentrate fire there, looking over the shoulders. Good, very nice, beautiful. So that was beautiful. That was a very costly victory for the Cylon if against the, no, the, uh, sorry, the very costly defeat for the Cylons and for us a rather cheap victory, I would argue. Astana killed two, Uluburu killed two, and then the Adamans. Well, we, we have one kill on Kensel and Monaco and Euribia did not do that, but did a, a tactically the most important thing here to draw all the vipers, away, uh, the raiders away. Very nice. That's how I like it. Let's keep Jake here with the planet in the background. Very nice indeed. Reason to be happy. Okay, so. One little viper fish swimming in space in their swarm. A bit uncertain where to go. Yeah, that was that was a good maneuver there, this uh, Cylon. Like we could, they didn't even need to say anything. There was just the mocking, like, uh, yeah, this is this is how you do it. This is how you maneuver. Missiles come in. And I'm happy about the Taiko drums. That's good. That's nice. Using some Cylon space dust. Okay. Would be really cool if the debris would have would also have like a very limited amount of hit points still, and uh, that they would have some physics effects as well, like crashing against the hull. That wouldn't even need to do too much damage, if any. That would be pretty cool. Also, obviously, it would block the view and block uh, the way for the projectiles. So. Here we go. So that was our traditional way to engage basically that's really nice i think i'm not entirely certain if the raiders uh, actually damaged our ships because there were a lot of few hull points uh, missing but for the vipers that was a flawless situation here taking out all the raiders from the flank that was really nice we really surprised them In the meantime, another Arachne bites the space dust, and here we go. Full flank attack. Vipers are on the target. Eurybia sniped some more. And we have wiped out already three of their six squadrons. And then only three remain, which we engage. Two to one with the two to one numbers in uh, advantage. We wipe them out two in no time. More missiles on the way, Vipers are going for the first Revenant. And that one, well, did get off like two, three, four shots or so. Towards our cavalry ships, I think. But they 
They never made it to identify us. I think they were just boosting forward as much as they could, which uh, is reducing the sensor range, of course. And then the Vipers are identifying the fleet, passing the ships while shooting, engaging the rear guard from behind, are remaining in an excellent fire position from behind, especially then for the second ship. While we are firing more and more missiles, actually we nearly fired all of our missiles. I think only the frigates had a few left and then only because well, they can't shoot them so quickly. Their yeah, Vipers get their first kill uh, on, the sec uh, on, on their second and the last Rahmi, which is blown up to very little pieces this time from behind by the Vipers and from the front by a massive missile strike well i could have shot at the revenants actually it would have been even better or more efficient but well i know that our ships can chew through the revenant pretty quickly if it comes in like that and i didn't want to have any missiles flying our way which is nice. So that was a no Cylon missile mission. Very good. And we surprise our battle computers. So they are very nice. Concentrated fire on the remaining Talon. And its thick shell glows. Comes. The second sun in the system, but only for a very short time. And then we are happy. Good job, Raphael. And then, let's see, we do have another interesting battle coming up at Virgon over there. Okay, and that's, that is Brandon again with the Kai Shek, a new battle star over there. This will be interesting. Well, and our guys, by the way, they, they were actually flying unnoticed over there. That's good. Well, but what happens next, my dear fellow? strategists and tacticians we will see in the next episode thanks for watching that was fun i hope you found that too let's see what happened here well no one is impressed they are all used to the good news by now huh well yeah well if you have any thoughts you wish to share ideas tips and tricks what to do as you recall we are forming a thug fleet I'm not well. Think well with these ships. They are they are actually enforcing uh, uh, Metalina, and I think we are actually next turn we are actually and these guys they also need to fly over there. But actually next turn we are rushing maybe one frigate or so, um, just so the system remains. The system of PyCon here remains uh, fortified and then we are jumping the Daedalus over here to see some more action and the Galactica will hunt at Zeus. Well, and I guess like from this planet they can probably jump everywhere, huh? I wonder. Although theoretically they can only jump here to the system. Like if the jump lane here is correct. Which would theoretically mean like if we have one ship, uh, one uh, fleet here, then they would always engage that fleet, right? Or like if we have two of them or something. But I guess this could also be rather dangerous if they send out like several fleets all at once, but well. So, I wonder by the way, when the resources and, and the metals and everything of this planet are exhausted, well, okay, I guess it takes a while. Yeah, because it's a huge planet and these are just little ships, but anyway. Well, next time, Brandon, then. See you next time. Bye-bye.